Hey, so today I'll show you how to generate text by using OpenAI's GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 models and also how to generate images by using OpenAI DALI-3 model all inside this Google Sheets. So let's get to it. For all that, you will require the OpenAI API key which you will have to sign up from here and then you may need to add your card details to access the API and also you will require a free account on cloudinary.com so um, to store the images and then get the image images as urls inside your google sheets so if you have signed up for both of these you are good to go i have created this simple app script that calls the open ai api and gets you the outputs in the form of text or images so you don't need to uh, get to the code I, you just need to have the code here and then do all the settings inside this settings tab so as you can see i have already copy pasted the api from openai here and then i'll need to fill in some details in order to start working so for that initially we are going to generate some text inside this data one column like data one sheet and then we'll get to this data two sheet so first of all if you see this is a simple prompt can like write an answer to the question can dogs eat a2 a2 is apple in this case in under 50 words use simple language so i have already written the prompt and if i drag it down it will be generated for all the rows and for the last row if you see write an answer to the question can dogs eat pizza in under 50 words use simple language so this is the prompt and uh, okay let's start filling in the details so temperature temperature can vary between 0 and 2 but generally 0 0.7 is good because i have tested it for my use cases uh, but if you need more creative outputs you can make it closer to this 2 for now i'll just write 0 0.7 max tokens so basically max tokens is how longer you want the output generally 100 tokens is approximately equal to 75 words so accordingly you can write the tokens for now i'll just write 1000 i start processing from row and then process until row number so for now we need to start processing from row number two and then we need to process till row number six so i can just write let's come here two to six data sheet name so all the things are being done inside this sheet called data one so the data sheet name will be written as data one then prompt columns and output columns so i want the prompt uh, like the prompt is in the column b and i want the outputs inside this column c so i'll just write b and c so all the details are filled in and the model is selected as gpt 3.5 turbo i can also select the latest uh, gpt4 turbo preview actually if you want to learn more about the latest models you need you can visit this platform.openai.com slash docs and models and you will find all the models listed here for example if i click on this gpt4 and gpt4 turbo then it takes me to this page and from here i got to know that gpt4 0125 preview is the latest one and like currently this is pointing to gpt4 0125 preview which is this so even if you use this you will be using uh, this model okay so now it's ready and i just need to uh, run the script for running you have two options you can go inside this app script section and since we are generating text so you'll need to select generate text function and then hit run but when you run for the very first time you'll need some permissions uh, from your gmail account so you'll need to approve everything and then you will good to go so i can run i can click here on the run button and it will start running but i have another option i can just stay here and then uh, go to this sex this icon and then create uh, click on generate text and it will it should gen start generating so let's text uh, test it yeah as you can see uh, the outputs are being generated and um, yeah and if i cancel it now there is still one row of output left let me run it from here this this time and I, i'll just click on run 
and it should start running it's the same thing okay so if you see the execution started and execution finished completed i will close it for now so yeah the text is generated inside this sheet now we need to generate some text as well as images inside this sheet called data2 so this is a bit uh, complicated than this this was very simple this is a bit complicated yeah so i have two prompts if you see here uh, for this prompt i want the output inside this column for this prompt i want the text output inside this column and for this prompt i want the image output inside this column so let's set everything up and we will be good to go so for now uh, i want to start processing from row number two to six which is already written here and the data sheet name is data two this time and the prompt columns prompt columns are c and e if you see these are the prompt columns so i'll just need to write uh, c here comma e and then for c the output column is d so at at the first position i'll need to write d and then for e which you can see here the the output column is f so i'll need to write d comma f so this should be in front of like the respective column uh, for example c is the prompt column d is the output column e is the prompt column then f should, f is the output column here and then everything is filled in and the system prompt is ready we are good to go next let's fill in the image information so i'll be using the latest dali 3 model so yeah image dimensions so dali 3 supports anything uh, higher like from the 10 10 1024 pixels so in this case let's generate select this 1792 uh, by 1024 pixels image quality can be a standard or hd and in this case let's select hd start processing from row so for images it's asking for like from which row you start need to start processing the images so in this case we also need to start processing from 2 to 6 in case of images because image and text sheets are the same so i can just write 2 and then 6 data sheet name so data sheet name is like is data 2 and then prompt columns so i the prompt is inside the column g and the output is h so i can just write g and then h and then you will need the cloudinary details so i'm already logged in inside my cloudinary account and you'll need to go to like click here and once you click here you will get the cloud name from here and the same cloud name will be showing here so i can just just copy cloud name come here and then paste the cloud name inside this and then cloudinary preset name so you'll need to create a preset for your cloudinary account for that you'll need to click on this settings icon and then click on this upload icon uh, sorry upload option and then you'll need a scroll down a bit and then you'll have to enable unsigned uploading so once unsigned uploading is enabled either you can edit this one unsigned uh, preset or you can create a new preset so let's create a new preset add upload preset i'll just click on here and then i can name it anything for example for now uh, test preset i'll just write test preset and you'll need to select it unsigned and if you want all the images for this preset to be uploaded in a, in a specific folder you can write that as well for now i'll just write the same inside folder and yeah now you need you can come here and you can also like if you want to convert all the images automatically to jpg or png you can just specify them here and then you can also auto compress the images which are getting uploaded so for for this i generally just select it to auto and it compresses automatically all the images so i can just click on ok and you can see it will start showing q under slash sorry underscore auto 
and yeah it's done and i can just save and this is my preset name so i'll just need to copy and paste here and it's done but these things are private so do not share this publicly because otherwise anyone would be able to upload uh, to your cloudinary account and that will count against your quota and your this api is also private so do not expose it to the public everything is ready and i just need to run for it okay so this is the prompt that i have already written write a 60 word answer to the question can a2 which is goldfish live with b2 which is beta fish so it's already written i'll just need to drag it down and the prompt is generated for all the rows similarly provide me with five differences between a2 and b2 which is goldfish and beta keep all five differences in html ordered list format so i just need to drag it down and now all the prompts are ready for all the columns for images this is the prompt that i have written create an image where uh, a2 which is goldfish b2 which is beta are facing each other symbolizing a direct comparison between these two popular aquarium fish the background is minimal emphasizing the contrasting features of each fish so this is the prompt for daily 2 daily 3 sorry and I can just drag it down and it's already now I just need to run it if I need to generate the text let me move it upward yeah if I need to ge generate the text I'll just click on this generate text button and it should start generating if you see the 60 word answer and then the output uh, for differences will be here if you see so it will keep generating like this i'll fast forward the video actually from here okay and if you see it's writing html but if you don't need it you can just specify in the prompt that you don't need this and it will uh, like correct itself now all the text are like is generated now let's move to the image section so for that like let me delete some of the outputs because it's for some of the text outputs i'll delete it just for now and now let's run the text like images thing so generate images it takes time so i'll fast forward the video and it will start generating as you can see the script is running and you should see the cloudinary url here if you see the script has finished and all the images are generated so let's check some of the images if i click here and you can see that this is the image of goldfish versus beta fish and this is the image of goldfish versus guppies so yeah the prompt can be better goldfish versus angelfish Okay, so this is the prompt, and then goldfish and neon tetra. So yeah, and as just like this, you can generate text as well as images by using this sheet, and it's all inside the same Google Sheets. So for your inf information, this like you don't have to. Op like keep this google sheets open you can also set it to run in the background so i'll show you how to do that you can click on this app script section and you need to set triggers so inside like if you hover here you'll find this option called triggers so i can add a trigger and i can set it generate text and time driven I can set it to run every 30 minutes or maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I can set it to run every 30 minutes and click save. So this is for the generate text function which will generate the text. Now I can set another trigger for generate image function. So I can select generate images and then from 
time time driven and set it to run uh, every 30 minutes and so it's set up and now if i add some more rows here and then if even if i close this google sheets it will keep running in the background and next time when i open this sheet all the text would be generated and all the images would be generated so it's run like it's completely running in the background so yeah this is for the video and if you need to get the script i'll put a link in the description you can get it from there so hope it helps and see you in the next video